Greetings and welcome everybody to Breachway, a roguelite sci-fi deck builder game. That's a lot of words. Think about a little bit of FTL, a little bit Slave Aspire and a little bit, of course, its own game. Um, thrown together to a very interesting game that I've been enjoying a lot here. Um, you can actually play this game, well, the demo of it, uh, from the Steam Store page, which should be linked down below. They've also had a demo out earlier this year. I think I played it in January, uh, like in Steam Next Fest. But this is the full version. Big thanks to Hooded Horse for providing me with a key to this. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it, it's probably best to just explain it while playing. So let's just jump right into a run. And uh, you can see what it's all about. Now, um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my progress from the, the demo version into the full version. So I'm starting on a fresh account, pretty much. Uh, I'm not talking about the, the one run I failed. Um, this is blinking. It's telling me I could totally... This is all grayed out. No, I don't think I have anything available I can put in there. All right, so this is the ship selection at the start of a game. And so when you first start out, you just have one ship available, the Arbalest. Um, the Marauder will need to complete a run with the Arbalest. The Lancer, you need to complete a run with the Marauder, etc., etc. Firebrand, you know, probably you need to get the Avenger now. Complete a, a run with the Lancer. So this is our ship. Um, each ship has different systems. So this one has a pulse laser, a barrier shield, and a research resource, a bay, a rest bay. Um, and you can see on the right side that each of these systems has some cards associated with it. So this is where the deck builder aspect comes in. Basically, depending on the systems you have on your ship, cards are added to your deck, so that determines then what you can or cannot draw during combat. Um, then on the top we have our hit points, we have command points. Each of these characters that are um, controlling our systems have certain special abilities that cost a certain amount of command points and have a cooldown. So for example here Lena Sterling has um, Force production, gain two of each resource for four command points, four turn cooldown. They also have a passive ability. Here, for example, combat logistics chance to start a uh, combat with plus three of each resource. Which is, uh, I don't think I've ever seen that trigger. Um, so yeah, and then this is our amount of fuel we have. Well, let's just get right into the map, you see what this is all about. So this is the randomly generated star map, which I think the layout is always the same, at least for, for this ship, but the individual nodes are different. And then the interactions here might be different. Captain, our sensors detect a group of Stark and gunships on a flight path. It looks like they're trying to block any ships from entering the system for this breachway corridor. Judging by the large number of civilian ships over had, the blockade is meant to keep people in. And I clicked uh, before I could read the full text. Professional, professional content creator right here. All right, so we're starting here. We need to reach well the boss combat and the sector exit on the other side of this. Um, we can freely choose whatever path we want. The blue lines between nodes do not cost us any fuel, but you can only travel them in the direction of the exit. The other lines cost one fuel each when you fly along them, but you can move in any way you want, even like going back. So it's, uh, you know, you kind of find a middle ground between not running out of fuel and picking up extra stuff that you want, extra upgrades, extra credits, extra um, items, weapons, modules for your ship, etc. Um, there are four factions in the game, and in this um, scenario we start with friendly reputation with the yellow guys, the uh, or allied reputation with the free roamers, then the Starkin, the green, are neutral towards us, uh, deadweights 
pirates are, I think, um, do we have any red? I don't see any red right now. And the Solari are disliked. I think they are like also neutral, maybe unliked, slightly. Um, but yeah, let's just um, fly to the blockade. Busy with trying to prevent civilians from fleeing the system, only a security drone has noticed our approach. It's heading our way on an intercept course. Prepare for combat. Right. Combat. So, um, we see on the left our ship, on the right the enemy ship. This is our card draw that we have. Each card costs a certain amount of resources to play. Well, not each of them. You see, this one doesn't cost anything. Uh, in fact, if we play it, then we gain green resources back for every two red we use. So we have, um, these are our resource we have with five ordnance, we gain three per turn, get four energy, gain two per turn, and three mass, gain one per turn. Um, additionally, each card has not just a cost, but you also see then, um, I can't, can't put my mouse on it, but you see on the top, there's a cooldown there. So unlike most cards games, where cards you play just go into discard pile and then you can draw them again once you're through with your deck, um, cards here also have a cooldown. So only after their cooldown expires, so in this case three turns, will they go back into your draw pile. So you see here on the left hand side, um, we currently have nothing in the cooldown pile, nothing coming up off cooldown next turn, and we have two cards in our draw pile. Then here's um, our ship's power, so at the moment 50 hit points. And then there's a heat mechanic, um, so certain abilities or enemy weapons can generate heat. And once you reach the max, you, you decay one heat per turn. Um, but if your heat maxes out or goes over the maximum, then you have some negative effects. All right, um, that's my side, enemy side. Enemy ship, enemy heat, enemy hit points. So far, so easy. These are the cards the enemies are playing. But these little white dots on the bottom of the cards mean when these cards become active. So this laser pulse well, is just preparing and next turn, when the second, second dot has filled there, the second um, white line there, then it will be fired. So we want to have a, ideally a shield card next turn. Similarly, Shield Pulse here creates a 4-point shield for the enemy, but only in 3 turns. Um, so that's what the enemy is doing. And then in the bottom right we have our crew and we can click on these guys to activate the abilities. Each ability has a cooldown, but it also costs command points. We currently have 5 command points available. Um, you do not regenerate command points during combat, but only on the world map. So kinda, uh, we want to be saving this up probably on easy fights to not, uh, to not use it up. So um, the other thing we can also look here in our, well, in our card dock in the deck rather. So we know that we have all our weapons cards and conservation in hand and the two barriers in the draw pile. So we will, we will draw a shield next turn, so that should be fine. Um, Right, with five energy, we can't do too much uh, this turn. So, play this, all of our pulse cards place this turn, deal one additional point of damage. So, I think we're gonna play one of our laser pulses here. That's an awkward number of energy that we have. We would need nine energy to fire all of them, but with next turn together we only get to eight energy. We might actually have to use. If we wanna go go out of this without taking damage quickly, we might have to use our one of our abilities here. Uh, anyway, so the laser pulse also have um, certain abilities here. They leave four damage and they have precision. 
So precision weapons allow you to target enemy equipment. So in this case, I can target it at the enemy shield generator. So and what it now did, it, it did four points of damage to the hull, but it also did four points of damage to the system. If we do six points more damage here, we disable the shield generator and it's, it goes on a little bit of a cooldown. All right, let's end the turn. There's my barrier. Wonderful. Uh, I think, yeah, in order to... I really want to disable the shield pulse, so I need to do 6 damage. So I can either boost my next attack, plus 50, or I can gain 2 of each resource. Plus a few command points, so I'm actually going to pick that. Puts me at 7. Let's trigger conservation, since we're about to spend a lot of um, red energy here. Gain some green back. Catalyzed Pulse and Laser Pulse this thing. Shields disabled, and then we still have plenty of energy to get our own shields up. The downside is that a lot of our stuff is now on cooldown, so I think there's only the other shield card that we can draw here at the moment. Which we don't even need, though. So, um, they're prepping, they're repairing, we can't do much. Um, any remaining shield you have, you lose 50% of it between turns, unless you have um, shield duration, which then extends your shield and you don't, you don't lose it. Anyway, not much to play, we just end turn, they're prepping their laser bolts. Which is fine, we have a barrier in hand. And we get our attack cards, all our attack cards again next turn. So I think we're just gonna chill here and then next turn we should be able to play all three attack cards. And just kill them. Not a little bit too loud here. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me actually adjust the volume of the game sounds here in a second. Um, so, end of combat, we gain a little bit of money and we can add a card to our deck. So, repeater pulse deals four damage, return a laser card from the cooldown pile to your hand. Well, heavy pulls that deals 8 damage for 5 energy, like 5 and 2. But also get Rampart, giving us 10 shields and 1 shield duration. And search. If unshielded, gain 4 shields, otherwise gain 1 shield duration. Interesting. That's a cheap card. For 4 shield? Or we could get some rest bay items here. Resource bay, yeah, that's what I said. On and search. Gain four red, sustain one heat. Lose, lose up to. So you kind of have to use it in the turn you play this card. Alright. One number conservation. Hmm. Or well, we could skip for 20 additional credits. I think I like this. Yeah, so heat damages the hole for each point above your resistance on turn start. Um, yeah, I like the idea of getting the ball. Okay, let me just uh, check the um, game settings here for the volumes, because I think both music and sound effects is tick too loud. Just a sec. Alright, adjusted it a little bit. So, we now have 98 credits after this fight. Uh, we g gain as you see, free command points, morale points um, per turn. The money you can also spend to upgrade your reactor and then upgrade your individual game um, systems so you gain more resources each turn. Of course, with 98, we can't do anything just yet. Um, so yeah, so let's just um, fly here. Sector Gateway. 
So we breach the blockade, multiple ships try to make a run and exit the system. As we mix in with the group of civilian vessels, the Starking gunship will break off pursuit and focus on keeping the fleeing ships in. Incoming message request, Captain. Possible to isolate the source with so many ships grouped together. Thanks, Captain. Perhaps the skill you've shown there. You can use the service of a bold freelancer such as yourself. I'm a data broker by trade, willing to offer a generous reward in exchange for some valuable intel. We need to gather data on the strength of the ships in the sector. By the looks of it, this isn't the last fight you get yourself into. Send me your combat logs after six combat encounters, and I'll transfer 150 credits on delivery. Come on, Captain, pick a weapon from the reserves while you're at it. You'll need all the firepower you can get. Consider it an investment in your future. Tap on a keyword to freeze the equipment and hold over and inspect the cards. Um, Alright, so we can take a missile rack or a light flak cannon. Zero to eight damage and applies shredding. And now each stack of shredding increases minimum damage of further flak attacks. Interesting. And these missiles do 6 damage with a turn delay, and it depletes, so it removes from battle once played. So we can only play those ones. But 6 damage for 2 energy, that's that's fairly cheap. Uh, I think we picked the missile rack. Months later, a transport container emerges from somewhere in the group of ships. Head it for your location. You pry it open in the cargo bay after a security scanner and pick up its contents. Right, so we have the missile rack here. Now we only have three crew members, but we have this AI. Which we can move here because you only get the cards added to your deck in combat if somebody is actually manning the station. Right, now we have to pick a path here. Um, so these are usually combats, even though this is an allied sector, that might be something where we have to protect somebody. These can be any sort of encounters. Best here is to fight six enemies. We don't know too much about the place here at all. There's an elite fight there. And there's a space station, basically a shop all the way over there. I think we're just gonna head in this way and then see see what's what's happening on the sidelines. Allied free Roma gunship has detected the presence of a hostile in your general area. So you're in direct fire range, you are being asked to engage the enemy ship. The Allied gunship is too far to provide any kind of support. Uh, mm, yeah, we will just sure. Alright, what are you doing? Two attack systems. Opening shot, the flak cannon. Potentially four damage. And a barrage, another flak. Five to twelve, shred five. Oof. That is, uh, that's heavy. We do start with our ordnance search in hand though. Let's play that right away. It gives us 9 energy to play with. So we could catalyst double laser. That leaves us no green energy for the shields though. That is 4 plus 5 plus 5. 14 damage. So we could take out the heavy barrage cannon. Eat the opening shot. Or we take out the opening shot, but then, yeah, no, I think this is, yeah, we take some damage, but it's less damage than what we take next turn, because there's no way we get enough shields up to block um, all that damage here. We could... 
pop emergency shielding here for four shields and just stay completely healthy. But um, our... Not sure if I can see the abilities of the... Like, um, she here has an ability that can repair our ship between fights or after fights, so taking a little bit of damage. Not the worst, I think. Okay, took two damage, we shredded for one. Light barrage. Five damage. Yeah, we'll block that and fire the missiles. So this is coming off cooldown here next turn, and our light barrage coming in, so we could just shield up again. We should, definitely. Could have con used conservation to gain one green energy back, I don't know. We get our free laser attacks back next turn, which means... Not gonna have enough energy, but one of them should be enough to actually take them out at that point. Target reached. Is a pulse doing four damage? Doesn't even matter what we shoot at. Ah. No cuts, just money. I think we definitely wanna. Yeah, let's let's upgrade the reactor. Then I can't actually use that any, on any of these. Oh, so, we have an upgraded reactor. That's fine. No, I can't. I can't assign it. What's this upgrade? Oh, capacity. I also assign. Put it in the weapons. Yeah, I think we wanna. We wanna. I'm all about that alpha striking, eh? All right. Next fight. Dead white conflicts are also impossible to base with limited resources at the local of the local factions. A dead white ship has locked in on our drive signature and is approaching from starboard. Alright, they have missiles that they're gonna fire. There's very little we can do against that. Just keep in mind shielding up now. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Thankfully, now with the upgrade, we start with six energy. We have actually enough to take out his barrier. Turn one. Should definitely popped conservation there. Um. So, next missile is gonna come in two turns. This thing is repairing, so they're not really doing much. So we can shield against the incoming missile. And I think I'm just gonna... turn... Yeah. I'm gonna discard the, the second barrier shield because the two cards we're gonna draw is the um, red energy and the second missile. Not sure it's actually gonna help me against his his missile launch, but we'll we'll, we'll see what we can do there. But I'm not an expert at this game; never claimed I was. All right, do this. Pop conservation. By all the missiles. He's firing his missile. Target reached, 
happen. So now the big question is... We're not gonna... We only have 5 energy, but we need... 5 damage here, so we need to play both cards to actually kill him. So we can... well, I guess... We can use his ability for 50% more damage, or his for 2 energy. Which makes way more sense, because it costs less, um, less points. Fewer points. Will the missile still hit us? It will not. Cool. Avoided damage. Alright. Another Ordnance Surge. I like these. They give me much power power, but at the moment we're often kind of starved for attacks, so I kind of want to get more, more in there. Tracker Missile. Deal 6 damage in a turn. Damage random active equipment equal to home damage dealt. So it's kind of like a Starfire, but it actually hits the system, not just the world, so it's better. Or Reaper Missile. It's 6 damage, plus 2 damage for each missile already in flight. Can make a big missile turn, but that is very, very random card. Okay, booster pulls here. Other laser cards cost reduced by one this turn. Or the heavy pulls for eight damage. This is a nice synergy then with his 50% more damage. I mean, there's a potential 12 damage attack. Yeah, let's go with the heavy pulls for now. Alright, so now we could do some, some side paths here, spend some fuel, and get some more combats in. I think the sooner we complete the six combats, and the sooner we get the 150 credits for some more ship upgrades. So, um, yeah, let's see what the Solari have. The Solari conflict zones is strictly prohibited. A petrol ship moves in to intercept. Well, their fault. Right. Now I'm one of these flag, double flag systems. This one time of a heavy free turn preparation thing here. Yeah. I don't see any reason not to immediately throw this in here. Let's just let's just play our whole hand. Fire the missile. We start doing damage to this. Put the barrier up against the spread shot. Seems reasonable. Missile intercepted. Oh. And destroy the closest enemy missile. Yeah, you know, reading tooltips. Kind of a uh, forgotten art. For me, often. So, we're gonna need six more damage here on the heavy barrage if we want to disable this. The only way to do that this turn is to heavy pulse it, I guess. Shielding enhanced. Now he's reloading, so we can safely fire the missiles. Next turn we should have 6 energy to fire both of these. This thing only has 9 health, so we can actually disable it like that. 
He can't do anything. And next turn we just laser pulse his butt. Easy peasy, no cards. Not sure what determines if you get cards or not, but I guess the credits are also helpful. Alright, waypoints. I'm not sure what this affected repair station located at in this corporate location added to your nav system. Alright, so nothing happened there. It's a repair station here. We don't really need it. Mm. Unless we can get some fuel there. I am tempted to you know, go back here, repair station and there, but that's free fuel. If we can't get fuel anywhere, I guess we're stuck on this part. I'm not sure. I don't remember the exact rules if zero fuel still allows us to just, you know, traverse on the on the edge line here. Yes, we find out. Limit zones are off limits to non highlight chips. The stuff the gunship takes your unauthorized presence as a sign of aggression, moves into attack. Well, that's that's their their problem. Ooh, or maybe it's my problem. You are preparing a big shield pulse for well, not so big. But you get four shield next turn. You also have a beam sweep, ignite free. Cutting B. Ongoing for three turns. I return free damage and ignite free. Oh, you, you're gonna turn up the heat here, eh? Alright, um... Beam sweep we can block if we get a shield up. I think I think I need to take out the cutting beam. So I'm kinda thinking we do the 50% extra damage. Oh, where are you gonna round? How does rounding work in this game? If I do 4 damage, and then this will do 5, plus 50%. If it rounds up to 8, we have 12 damage to disable this system. Runs down to 7. We don't. So maybe I'm better off just taking out the beam sweep. And then we hope we can... Continues the uh, shield against this, maybe. Yeah, that's seven, not eight. Okay. Beam coming in. Yeah, he's, he's shielding for four, so our, our missiles are always only doing two damage. Don't think there's uh, much we can do, or there's any point like saving it for later. It's the shield generators on cooldown, lasers on cooldown, but he has this ongoing effect, so we kind of need to shield up again. So we don't take damage and don't suffer the heat. Question is, do we want to save our weapons for like a bigger turn? I can actually see which cards. So the catalyst and the regular laser are coming off cooldown. Okay, 
Okay, still have three shields active. Good enough against this. So in order to fire everything, we would need 14 energy, which clearly we don't have, even with his ability, that's 12. I still think I'm gonna pop another ability here. Yeah, I still think the, the beam sweep is the one I want to disable. Hmm. I gotta disable the shields so I can kill him next turn. That's always check if you have lethal. Alright, what do we got here? A firecracker. Heal two damage three times. I think this is then a synergy with things that increase your damage, I guess. Uh, per hit. Iron Missile deals 12 iron damage, which damages shields. But if shields are down and you damage the hull, it converts into iron ice. For every 6 iron ice, they remove 1 pip from a random action. Mm -hmm. What are these guns here? Optimization. Gain one red for every two blue. We don't really have many blue spenders just yet. And four blue. Sustain one heat. Area also gives us one sustain or shield duration. Kind of feel like I'm, I'm getting too many red cards and not enough cards of the other colors to kind of balance out my deck a little bit more. There's also, of course, the whole thing with um, if your deck gets too big, you're not drawing the right cards. But with the cooldown mechanic, I think you can build slightly bigger, bigger decks. Very rarely um, drawing my whole hand full, except at the end I start of combat. Um, but let's actually repeat the polls. Oh, that's the returned hand. In one shield point every time you play a laser or iron attack. Oh, it's an upgrade. So it's a you play it for a lot of a lot of blue, a lot of mass, and it's then a permanent buff. Hmm. I think I want a slightly more defensive card here. And we repaired four whole points. Good job, man. Good job. Large part of stripped cleaner scavengers. Oh, an attempt to do some repairs. He ships in hole is in perfect condition, but your crew manages to salvage some of the station equipment worth 39 credits. Mm -hmm. I think we need 150 for the next upgrade. So yeah, we're gonna need to fly somewhere. To a blue area, so not running out of fuel. We just ship present in contested stark in space. It's approaching an attack vector. Prepare for combat. Okay, it has a 
a, a light torpedo. It's eight damage after two turns. I was three. Right. Okay. That, that that doesn't really matter for you, does it, eh? Ace. A hack card. Discard an enemy tactical card. Add a system disruption card to the enemy's hand. It's mean? Who would do such a thing? Okay, so everything you do, you're just preparing. I can't really... Well, I say that. No, I can actually kill the hack if I want to. If I go for the 50% damage boost. I think I want that. Pull conservation. Double pull surface. We keep the barrier in hand so we can, can block the beam sweep next turn and the turn. Uh, what's this? Support volley. Three firefly missiles get fired at the enemy ship. Okay. Um, right. So beam sweeps coming in. We can block that. Uh, I think we're just gonna get our flares out there. This torpedo is gonna take a little bit longer, so we can save our cards here. Another beam sweep peppering, a firefly missile. So we're gonna fire that directly, and that's gonna come together then with this. So we're gonna have a lot of shite coming in next turn. This, we have a pulse. Uh, if we use both, that's four green energy. It puts us down to four plus two is six. It's enough for both shields next turn. Alright, all right. we can. Wait, isn't that isn't that lethal? Isn't that lethal? It certainly is. I think since we don't need any money for repairs, and uh, well, there is a shop coming up, but man, I kind of want to upgrade reactor power. Uh, it's fine. Check the waypoint. The main concern gets a minor law of function in the reactor system. Your crew tries to diagnose the problem, how they are unable to identify and repair it without more sophisticated equipment. Reactor malfunction disadvantage until you reach a space station. Ooh, that's not nice. So, um, disadvantage means on combat start, we remove one random reactor power from a random resource. Uh, not nice, but looks like we have our... Well, there's a space station, so we can get rid of that, but we have one fight ahead of us there. Strictly prohibited. Prepare for combat. All right. What are you doing? Opening shots. Black can shred and spread shots. Destroy missiles. Uh -huh. I'm gonna always use this, but this is what? So, 4 to potentially 9 damage. Would take out one of those with the heavy and the laser pulse, but then we don't have enough green energy for shields. How about we toggle our power, dude? Uh, 
I got the sweatshot. Which also means I can safely fire, fire the missiles and put up the shields. Wow. Oh. oh. We don't gain any blue energy on this fight because of the disadvantage here. Yeah. Uh, oh, we could. No, no, no. I forgot that you can do this, in fact. Let's rearrange our, our gains, yeah. Which causes heat, though. See, that's a mechanic I completely forgot about because I didn't replay the tutorial that I played uh, back in January um, during Next Fest. Anyway, one shield remaining. We have four red energy. You're about to put up a six point shield with shield duration. There's not much I can do about it unless I'm willing to. to 50% boost. Nope. Nope, that's not gonna be enough. That's just doing six. You are seven. Oh, but I think I have one more turn, right? Yeah. All right, let's do conservation. Poke you a little bit, and we want to block that opening shot. Let's put out the charge barrier. So we're not going to lose fifty percent here. Overturns, we keep keep four, which is enough for the opening shot. So we don't need to. Know get the other barrier out. Alright, talk about barriers. No barriers for you. Not so hard. Eat a missile. This pennon is reloading, but the stretch shot is ready to go. Very certain we should get another laser pulse of cooldown next turn for lethal. Sweet! Um, get some money, get salvage items, and we get a card. We just get another ordnance search. And spend all this energy. What energy search? Hmm, no. Deal free damage, minus one cooldown for the next attack played this turn. When you didn't even hear us, the iron missile is not even taking red energy, it's taking green. Take the repeater pulse. I think there's some interesting plays that we can do with that. While the training crew has finished gathering any useful salvage from the enemy wreckage, the combat lock data transfer is complete. Services, as per our agreement, the funds have been transferred. Until we meet again, Captain. Judging by the time between the data transfer and the incoming message, the data broker ship should be within scanner range. But your sensors are not picking up anything up. 
doom, doom, doom. All right, let's um, head to the space station. Station up ahead, Captain. Ready to dock on your work. Dock with the station. We got several things we can do here. First of all, um, fix ship malfunctions. For 25 credits, sure. Then we can buy some fuel. We also have crew activities, plus two morale for the next three notes. And I don't think that costs anything, so we do this. Um, let's... Before we buy any fuel, let's see what, what's in the shop. Enter the hangar. Oh, we could sell the salvage for 35. And the solar stores are used in some events. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna sell it. Alright, this is a point and defense cannon. Which we can put in the auxiliary slot. Doesn't need a crew member to, to um, target it. Hmm. Which would help us, you know, shoot down enemy missiles. It's a little bit, you know, you gotta um, have the card in hand when the missile is coming, but um, yeah, I think it can be nice. Black cannon, shield boots generator. Well, that's a utility system or a hacking module. Uh, it would go into our in our shield slot. No. Then these are systems you can put into other systems, right? You can see how each system has some slots here for upgrades. So this is an upgrade for the resource bay. Gain free random resources if you end your turn with a full card hand. Spectrum. Gain two of each resource once per turn. If you play a tactical support and a tech card in the same turn. We probably need some more some more cards. I think yeah, we only have exactly one blue card, right? Everything else is red or green. So no tactical cards. It's, it seems really strong, but we need more cards in that case. Bring free shields if you end your turn with an empty card hand. Trigger twice if unshield. So if we an empty hand and no shield up, we get six shield. Seems strong. Every third missile fired in a single turn increases damage by one for missiles from this equipment. See, this is probably where the thing that fires three missiles that do two damage. It's extra good, but our missiles are also depleted cards, right? We've only fired them once. So with two missiles that we have total, picking something up that it triggers on the third missile seems like a bad investment. <laughs> Alright, so I think I really like the spec. Like, two of each resource is so good. Don't to say contingency mode. No, let's get the spectrum. Yep, you need to slot it in there. Okay. So we gotta just grab some cards. I think actually, can we not buy cards here? 
Alright, let's leave the hangar for now. And then we can enter the hangar again. That's like... Yeah, it's a nice little cutscene, but I think it should be... Makes makes it all take a little bit longer. Okay, so we can remove cards for 50, add a card for 30. Uninstall AI core. Remove AI crew member grants and I to. I don't know what that does, but we need the... Otherwise our missile rack isn't manned. Now let's see what we can add. Right, so I think just to have another blue card, another technical cards, we're gonna add. Ooh. Now, I think we can't play this, not for four hour cost, and this is free. Yeah, let's just add that. I'm gonna buy at least one fuel. I want to be flying around a little bit more, so let's add let's add two more fuel, and then depart the station. Oh, comes well. We could get to the elite combat if we go waypoint and then fly over here. Oh, you know what? Since this is this is the first uh, video on this, I think we're gonna just go straight towards the end. So this way, I can do the full run in one episode. And if I fly around now, I would have to split this up into episodes. Let's just see where we go. Um, the flight path takes a close to cloaked missile emplacement. Manage to lock on a fire starfire missile volley before you can get out of its fire range. Shield generator minus fifty percent damage. Initial shields and brace for impacts. Just to mention, you also have enough power to block half the income missile. Free damage taken. That's that's the whole thing? Okay. Uh, we do we take one detour here. An elite combat. Cross paths with a battle hard and free roam or militia vessel. Does not display any hostile intent towards your ship. Incoming hail request. Greetings, Captain. Encountering allies has become increasingly uncommon lately. Currently tied down in the sector, dealing with local unrest and transgressions from the other factions. This leaves us overstocked on fuel. And you seem to uh, um, need it more than we do. Prepare to dispatch fuel port to your flight path for retrieval on your word. We can also attack them, giving us advantage, and the game doesn't tell me what advantage does. Now, yeah, I guess we just pick up the fuel. Which we don't actually need if we just fly straight to the exit. Um, let's go via the the waypoints here. Hostile space. The stealth composer made it impossible to detect. Someone must have left them in this flight path as a trap. Dense asteroid. Asteroid. Who, who codes asteroids with stealth composer? Evasive maneuvers. More damage taken. We've taken more damage from random encounters than from battles. Uh, let's take an extra fight here. Prepare for combat. Because we, we have that ability to heal up after fights. I'm kind of hoping that um, we get to trigger it. Right, so this is a blue card, this is a green card, which, um, yeah, that might have not been the smartest way to play this, but um, this is fine. So if I play this now, Shield generator. So this generated two for each resource. It's a 
if I play this, then that should get the normal laser back into my hand. So we can take out the, the shield bolts. The enemy shield bolts. Okay. I'm not sure if this was the most efficient way to play this, but hey, I got to play a lot of cards, so that's fun. Yeah, we can do this, this, this. Giving us two of each resource again. But can I be in un oh no, that was the good shield card, so it's it's gonna last until next turn in time to intercept the missile. Okay, cool. Oh, also we need the shield against this. Um we're also sitting at full morale. I could definitely use that. Let me get back to you. Incoming missile. Target hit, Captain. Okay, so missiles coming in. Probably want to fire the barrier. We fire all of this. With conservation, we gain four green back. So allowing us to actually play our own barrier cards. Right, so I'm just gonna play this. And take the damage boost on the heavy pulse, doing 13 damage to that. Oh, I forgot about the missile that was in flight. Oof. Minor detail. Hmm. He's gonna get his shield up. But he's shielding for four. Yeah, we can laser pull heavy pulse next turn for lethal. Enemy shield down. Okay. Got the credits. And we repaired four hit points, which puts us... No, I think we were... Were we lower before we started the fight? I don't know. Right, another conflict zone. Civilian ships being attacked, requesting assistance. We attack the enemy ship. Flag barrage and the laser pulse and firewall at one hack. It cost is increased by number hack. I have my eye on you. I'm not sure what you're gonna do with that, but I don't like it. Yeah, unless he rolls max damage, we should be able to block the ha the, the attack here completely. I think I'm gonna fire, launch the missile, but keep the other cards in hand. Let's see if we can get a combo turn off next turn.
each defenses. Transfer 50% of the enemy's next shield card to you. Consume one hack. Transfer 100% of the enemy's shield card to you. Oh, sorry. Normally 50, but since he has one hack, he's gonna be transfer 100%. That's mean. That's my shield. We did not draw any blue card. Unfortunate. Um, Alright, so we wanna conservation. I kind of want to go into the final fight with max command points, so maybe we can get away with... Maybe we can get away with not using them here. Shoot this. Start shooting that. Look shields. Uh, good. And now we don't have a green card? Wonderful, wonderful. Um, but if we trigger this... Then we can block the leech defenses. Ah, that's some cooldown, that's prepping. Should be good. And we can. We have one green energy short here. To play actually all cards. Wait. Well, why don't we just kill him? For some reason I thought he had more health. Yeah. Correct, son. Energy surge or overclock reactor and one reactor power at four heat to your ship. Oof. No. I think we just take the energy surge here. I like I like free cards that won't cost me anything to play. Alright, time to face the boss combat. Anything we can do with the last 100. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna increase the capacity here on my, on my weapons. I'm not gonna shuffle around, but we might shuffle around during combat if we end up with an excess of blue or green. We could in increase red. Marauder ship unlocked. It tends to pick up a large fleet of unrested ships from an asteroid world and towards the blockade. So don't you don't even have to defeat the uh, boss? Anyway, we're fighting appears to be imminent, Captain. It might seem risky, but we could use the chaos to slip by undetected. It's not like we left with too many choices with the looks of it. Suddenly the approach feature launches a massive coordinate attack, wiping out Half of the defending blockade force. Most of the ships are engaged in fighting as you approach, but a massive retrofitted industrial ship is breaking off its course and heading towards, uh, heading to intercept your ship. Come back, or I'll be forced to open fire. This is no place for privateers. The people have taken matters into their own hands. Leaving an incoming hail from one of the ships also heading for the sector exit. A Roma pilot. These ships were captured aboard by the Red Waves. Their actions do not represent the will of our people. You can count on our support, Captain. That's a lot of cards. 20 nights. Lighter rounds. Fuck. Oh, it's an upgrade. Okay. Oh, lighter rounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One maximum flag damage. Eh, yeah, whatever. I guess if you do 4 to 8, plus 1 maximum is kind of uh, annoying. 
an an annoyingly a lot. You're also firing a missile. You're raising your shields. You don't have shields at 12 and 1. Fusion. Draw and play an improvised flag card every turn after receiving hull damage. Great. Oof. That's a, that's a lot, of, lot of crap that you're doing there. Things, uh, all of his systems take a lot of energy to take out. Like, I, I feel like the retribution stuff, the upgrade which gives him a free extra attack, is probably the most annoying. Shields also seem really annoying though. Um. Problem is, if I don't shield up, not much I can do this turn anyway. And that leaves me with very little green energy here. I'm gonna take a poke at his shields, yeah. And we'll see what we draw next turn. Okay. We min rolled the flag, so it didn't take any shredding. Alright, we got a search count. It's great, so we can charge barrier. Shielding enhanced. Solar Flare, giving us the plus two energy on each thing. I'm also going to trigger this thing, yeah? This guy. It's 13 energy to play with and enough green to actually fire all this. Then I think... On top of that, we're going to overload cannons, yeah? 12 damage, take out his shields. I just want to take out his main cannon, yeah. Let's the laser pulse back. Reloading. Quest Flock is gonna fire at us if we hit him. And we got a missile incoming, aren't we? Let's actually keep that. Um, Alice, heart. Giving us one of each resource here. Yeah. Mostly waiting for cards to come off cooldown. Got two in the draw pile, one coming off cooldown, so three slots. I'm gonna keep these. Should be a weapon in there so we can trigger our thing in next turn. I think I'm gonna shuffle energy. About to get four four blue here anyway. I don't think we need a steady income there. Okay. Hit us with your best shot.
But we didn't hit him, did we hit him? Not sure why the improvised flag fired there. Thought it only fires when we hit him. Ah. Um, plus one flag max damage for every two enemy shred points. Okay, all right, fair. Right, we're gonna catalyst this thing. Start, start trying to take out his missiles. This one does five damage now, destroying his flag. Okay. Oh, we also lose at the turn end if we don't spend it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember these cards. We don't have much going for us this turn. <laughs> hmm. I, I guess we just end turn. I meant by one. Great, he has 12 shields up. That's a, that's a lot of shields. I have all the shields in my hand that I could ever want. But he's there's no damage coming in this turn. The problem is, even if we don't do anything now, his shield doesn't deplete next turn. Shield amplifier. Yeesh. I can't use any of my abilities anymore with three points. Everything is more expensive than that. I mean, we can take out the shields, right, with a heavy and a laser pulse. Then what? Four cards coming off cooldown. Take out the shields. I'll put my shield up with the extended duration. Not gonna fire again because I don't want to trigger his flag. Incoming missile. Target reached.
Oh crap. <laughs> Don't have enough green energy. Ah. Okay. M maybe the repeater pulls us a nice regular laser. Okay. Uh, that's not great. We definitely need more more green. Nine total health left, but he's about to shield. Oh, the shield amplifier only works when shielded. It's a good thing I, uh, yeah, I knew that. That's why I took down his shields. Yeah, yeah, that's, we, we go with that. This is, ouch. Generate on cooldown. Improvised flag there. Um, just need nine damage. Shouldn't be so hard, right? You are now shielded. Ah, I'm gonna discard the second shield card. If next turn, actually, switch that around, discard conservation. So we're gonna have eight green, 13 red. That should be enough to do nine damage before we die. Gain that shield burst and an I core. Another card. Resource bay is full, so we can't add any more cards there. I like that. So yeah, not moving an engine. This is not being attacked by some trigger happy lunatic. I definitely won't miss being here. Sector exit. Hey, Captain, I managed to break through the first layer of security of the data core. I want to tell you sooner, but I thought I could, could wait until we're out of mortal danger. Most of the data still scrambled. I was able to pierce together, pierce together parts of the hypothesis on the nature of the anomaly they refer to as the signal. If we ruled out any natural cause, I believe it's actually an attempt at communication. We also reference a set of coordinates, and I can make out some fragments related to decoding the message to fall to reply. The snuff system says the coordinates point to the orbit of a planet in the EOS system. Can't squeeze anything else out of this black box, Captain. Decoding the next layer would take an estimated a thousand years. You have 500. Um, yes, yeah, sir. I was stationed there when I served with the local free Roma militia. Not much out there except the wreck of that big boat everybody came in on. A long time ago. And a few desperate free Roma colonies were still scraping by on its remains. Oh, I thought the run would just be over. Nope, next system. Two fuel harvested. Da -da -da, a true marvel of engineering. Who distress calls from this sector? 
Right, there's the wreckage stations here all around. Okay, looks like we're in for the long haul. We do have an AI core, which we could use to use. No, I guess we need to turn an AI core into a new UI. I guess we don't have any any equipment. We have a shield unit. That would replace our barrier shields. Is that going to be better? It all seems very expensive, but it is. it has two slots for upgrades. Well, a lot of decisions to be made. I, I'm not sure which are the best right now, but um, yeah, this was a first look at Breachway. I think uh, if, if people are interested, I'll continue the run and, you know, show what the next sector has to offer. Uh, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.